on every issue from public health to the 2020 election to the fake outcry over critical race theory. The GQP has weaponized disinformation when the facts aren't on their side. And in doing so, they're putting our democracy and our very lives at risk. Yesterday, House Minority Leader and Trump steward Kevin McCarthy proposed five Republicans to serve on the select committee investigating the Capitol insurrection, a majority of whom sided with the insurrectionists on January 6th by voting to overturn the election results, just as the mob demanded. That includes Congressman Jim Jordan, the screamy Trump advocate and defender of the big lie. While it's unclear whether Nancy Pelosi will veto any of McCarthy's choices, Jordan's history of grandstanding certainly makes him a good candidate for rejection. But the bigger problem is that Jordan helped inspire the very attack he's now supposed to investigate. A new book by Carol Lenning and Phil Rucker reports that when Jordan offered help to Congresswoman Liz Cheney during the attack on January 6th, Cheney smacked his hand away and told him, get away from me, you blanking did this. To that point, McCarthy's selections make clear that Republicans will attempt to obscure their own culpability in the insurrection, as well as Trump's. In fact, their proposed ranking member, Congressman Jim Banks of Indiana, is already undermining the committee's work. He'd rather forget who unleashed the mob against the Capitol because, according to Banks, Nancy Pelosi is really the one to blame. Today, he suggested that she left the Capitol unprepared and vulnerable to attack. And he added that Pelosi, quote, created this committee solely to malign conservatives. But Republicans are also selling a bill of goods when it comes to covid fueling baseless conspiracy theories and vaccine skepticism. So it's no surprise that we're seeing more COVID cases among Fox News viewers who've watched their hosts downplay the pandemic day after day. In fact, according to CNN, the White House has reportedly been in private talks with Fox executives about their coverage. That might help explain why several hosts on that network are turning tail. They're suddenly urging their viewers to take COVID seriously. But while Sean Hannity and Steve Ducey have changed their tune, Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingraham continue to sow doubts. The problem is there are real life consequences for those who might heed the GQP message. There's the unfortunate example of unvaccinated Trump supporter and QAnon believer Linda Zorn, who was protesting her state's vaccination program just a week ago, according to the Cape Cod Times. Well, she died from COVID complications on Friday.